up guys it's victor here again and this is the samsung galaxy a01 this is the cheapest phone in the new samsung a series for 2020 but cheap doesn't always mean bad so this is my samsung a01 review but before we get started today is valentine's day so permit me to wish you a happy valentine's day it is the season of love so go out there and show love but if for any reason whatsoever you are still looking for an opportunity to show love please kindly hit that subscribe button just below this video to show love and also turn on the post notification bell icon so that you get notified the next time and every other time i post a new video like this one so last week i unboxed this phone and made an initial review of this phone if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a link in the card section above so you can check that video out after this video the galaxy a01 design is no surprise if you are used to samsung phones although this one is made of plastic which makes it feel like an entry-level smartphone it's an entry-level smartphone anyway the phone isn't much of a fingerprint magnet because of the matte finish of the plastic back the frame curves on all sides thereby giving you that premium grip that feels good in the hand and soul. This phone is not in any way, I mean in any way, a chunky phone, irrespective of the price. The screen here is a 5.7 TFT LCD display with a 720p resolution, a 19 to 9 aspect ratio which amounts to 301 ppi. On the screen, there is a V-shaped notch which Samsung calls the Infinity V display. The bezels around the screen aren't intrusive although the bottom bezel is significantly larger than other sides of the display. The viewing experience on the screen is decent with punchy colors and sharpness. Although sunlight legibility wasn't very good, I had a hard time reading text on this phone under direct sunlight. There is no always on display because this phone uses an LCD display, not an AMOLED. For audio, the last speaker I experienced wasn't good. The single firing speaker was placed at the back of the phone and can be easily blocked by dropping the phone on a flat surface. There is a lot of sound distortion on this guy. There is a 3.5mm headphone jack on the A01 and sound quality here is much much better. I didn't have a problem while making calls with this phone because the phone call sound quality was clean and crisp. So I had no issues hearing what the other party was saying. You also get a slot for micro SD card which means you can store more tunes on this guy. Talking about storage, this phone comes with only 16GB of internal storage and 2GB of RAM which is not bad but for 2020, oh boy. Samsung could have done better. The Galaxy A01 comes with Samsung's One UI 2.0 out of the box, which is the latest version of Samsung's Android skin based on Android 10. Some of the new features that came with this update of the UI include the refreshed dark mode, gestures for navigation where you swipe up to go home, swipe and hold to access the recent apps, and swipe from the sides to go back. Although the old buttons navigation buttons are still available if that's your preferred method of navigation. There is no edge panel on this phone even though other phones that came out in this same A-series lineup this year came with the edge panel. Phones like the Galaxy A51 and Galaxy A71 came with the edge panel. At the heart of the A01 is Qualcomm Snapdragon 439 which is a 12 nanometer processor. This means I won't choose this phone if I'm planning to play a lot of games on my phone. Powering this device is a 3000 mAh battery. The charging speed is slow. I got 30% of charge from 0% in a whooping amount of 45 minutes. Although the battery life is good, Samsung did a lot of optimization on this guy and this 3000 mAh battery can get you a full day of use. Now let's talk about the camera. At the back there is a dual camera setup consisting of a 13 megapixel main sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and at the front there is a 5 megapixel selfie camera. In daylight, the main camera takes decent pictures, there is good sharpness, dynamic range isn't too fantastic but it's manageable, and skin tones are almost true to life. Portrait shots taken with this main cam and the depth sensor are decent but not in any way among the best portrait shooters. There is a fixed focus and exposure lock that can help you lock your autofocus so that the phone will stop guessing what to focus on and you can plan your shots effectively. On the front side of things, the selfie camera performs well during the day, pictures come out pretty sharp and skin color is well preserved. Although it doesn't handle dynamic range well, 
As you can see in this picture, the highlights are blown out, but under poor lighting, the camera struggles a lot. Picture come out of the main camera blurry and grainy. On the selfie camera, the same thing happens and I also noticed some chromatic collaboration going on here. The rear camera can shoot video up to 1920x1080 resolution in 30fps. The front camera can also shoot video in 1920x1080 in 30fps. Videos from the rear camera surprisingly came out clean with very decent high dynamic range processing. But unfortunately, there is no optical or electronic stabilization here. So video will be very shaky on this guy as you've noticed. The front camera video came out somehow washed out and desaturated and overexposed. As you can see, the highlight areas on my face was completely blown out. So this is the front facing camera in video mode. What do you think about the, the camera quality and the audio quality? So that's the Samsung Galaxy A01. You get a decent plastic build with curved edges, a clean, punchy screen with good viewing angles, and a phone that can help you make clean and crisp phone calls. Although I noticed some cons on this phone, which might be a deal breaker for some people. For instance, there is no fingerprint sensor, which means you are stuck with pattern, pin, password, or the face unlock which is not even a reliable security method as it can be easily tricked. There is no NOS security on this phone, consequently, there is no secure folder. Secure folder is a different space Samsung provides for its users to save and store sensitive data. And nobody can get into those things you store except you give them the password of the folder. The secure folder service cannot work because there is no NOX on this phone. There is no AMOLED screen which means you will miss out on those punchy deep blacks and you don't get always on displays with the LCD display on this phone. There is no edge panel and sound is distorted on the highs. The speaker is located at the back of the phone which means sound is easily blocked. The charging speed is very slow and the bottom notch is a little bit not 2020 compliant. Finally, if you just need a phone for making calls, replying texts, emails, Facebooking, Whatsapping, then this phone will work for you. But if you're a heavy phone user that plays a lot of games on your phone, you watch a lot of video, you do photo editing, video editing, this phone might slow your life a lot. So guys, that's my review and my final impression about the Samsung Galaxy A01. In my next video, I'll be playing some popular game titles on this guy. Game titles like PUBG, Asphalt 9, Call of Duty. I'll see how this thing fares and how it handles those power-hungry applications. Please do remember to hit the subscribe button just below this video. I'll see you when I see you next week in the next one. Peace.